apologies for asking this of you, Elaine. It's merely that I'd like to make an inquiry regarding the nature of these sanctuaries. Please, your presence is more than welcome. We'll ask the Sage together. I'll start by offering a prayer to the Sanctuary. He who bears the Ring of the Unicorn, present its grandeur before me. Beside you stands the Turanos of Elheim. Mm -hmm. The ring of the unicorn would remain ever bound were it not for you. Or for your ancestors, who conveyed the Rite of Covenant through a great many generations. For that, you have my utmost gratitude. Is a kindness I scarcely deserve, a wise sage. But if I may, I wish to ask a question of you. For what purpose were these sanctuaries constructed? To house errant, wandering souls, those of the fallen Zenoiran Empire. Yet that raises another question still. How is it that Zenoira met with ruin? Twas an act of hubris immeasurable. In search of the forbidden gift of immortality, their sorcerers made sacrifice of a divine being, <gasps> the great and noble unicorn. <gasps> Such vile disregard for the natural world. Indeed, and greed only drove them further from their own humanity. Amidst the slaughter, they sought to elicit the creature's purifying energy, and in so doing, break free of the shackles of mortality. Yet the cleansing fires of the unicorn glow impossibly bright, violent in their rejection of vice and villainy. For the wicked-hearted to harness such a power as their own would be a contradiction of its very purpose. T'was a miscalculation of the most fatal ilk. With the beast's dying embers, the fury of the Unicorn struck Zenoira's people. Their skin burned, their flesh was rent from their bodies, and their souls were condemned to wander for the rest of eternity. How horrible! T'was the greatest irony, then, that the rite proved a success in the end. From the ashes of tragedy rose but one survivor, a single girl, capable of communion with the divine unicorn her countrymen had so cruelly defiled. Aside the Pontifex of Albion and the elven Turanos, she set forth to deliver peace to the restless souls of Zenoira's citizens, a venture which saw them construct six sanctuaries spread through every land of Fevrin. Upon its completion, she rallied those loyal to her cause and founded a new nation, Cornea, of which she would become the first queen. And with the spirits of her brethren pacified at last, she relinquished the power she had never once wished to receive. T'was then that it was severed in twain, each half laid into a sacred relic, symbolic of her tale. The Ring of the Unicorn. And that of the Maiden. Then the reason this ring answers to me alone is the royal blood flowing through my veins. Quite so. Your heart is that of the Unicorn, fated to commune with a Maiden true and fair. A destiny which culminated in the Rite of Covenant and the subsequent unbinding of the Ring's true form. Now, the power of cleansing housed within these grounds will prove a great boon in the battle ahead. You need only accept its grace. Your will is mine own, righteous Prince of Cornea. 
The ring's gotten stronger, Elaine. I can feel it. Ring bearer, the sanctuaries of Thefrith further seek your call. Deliver your presence unto each in turn, that we may aid you when the fated time arrives. 